Everybody, Scorpio Caesar here, part of the Super Retro Force. And of course, after I get the first game in a claim cell, like a week later, Limited Run Games decides to announce Rocket Knight Adventures Respark, a collection of the first three Rocket Knight games. I got the Switch version and I want to do an unboxing for it today. So, with that out of the way, welcome to the Caesar Arcade. Get ready. Alright, so let's get to it. Nice. I can't complain too much. Everything, you got a little characters, you got some of the enemies. Listen, I'm still new to the series. Really didn't play it growing up, unfortunately. Didn't have a Genesis. And I missed out on the Super Nintendo ones. Reintroducing the mightiest mammal ever to rocket to stardom. Remember, Sparkster is an opossum. And uh, we get a lot of those out here in Pennsylvania. Alright, oh. open it up. Alright, we got some good stuff here. We got a manual or a little art book. We'll take a look at that last. Uh, let's take a quick look at the cartridge and then we'll look at the reversible cover art. Let's see, Rocket Knight Adventures, we sparked L A H B A X W A U S A. Alright, all looks good there. We'll take a look at some gameplay afterwards. Let's check out the reversible cover art. So here's the reversible cover art, and you know what? Honestly, I think I like this one better. Uh, it's, it kind of channels the original Genesis and Super Nintendo box arts with the front. The back is still overall generally the same as the main cover art. So I think I might just end up using this one. You know, I mean, I, I do like the artwork here. No, you know, no shade to the artist who drew these. I like them, they're cute, but I may just use the reversible art just because it has more of that old school collection style feel. So I definitely want to take a look at this little manual here. Uh, this one is quite meaty actually. It's got a lot of girth to it compared to some of their other releases. All right, just a description of the first game, Rocket Knight Adventures. Then we have Sparkster, Rocket Knight Adventures 2. That was the Super Nintendo one, and then just Sparkster. And uh, I only own the original game on the Sega Genesis, as we saw before, so I never got to experience the two on the Super Nintendo, which unfortunately go for ridiculous prices on the aftermarket, and since I really have no emotional attachment to this character, despite, you know, a burning curiosity to try it out, I don't want to spend an arm and a leg for those old cartridges. Uh, it's just not for me, I'd rather just stick to this kind of collection in this case because, you know, preservation over time. Uh, this is awesome. It's got a little comic book, which is really cool. Now, I'm not sure if this comic book is old or new, but the fact that it's included in here is what makes this little manual, which is not really a manual, it's more of an art book and a comic book. More than anything, it's pretty cool. I like it. So let's check out some gameplay. Why? Why? Why is there an update needed for this game? Now the game probably doesn't need the update, but the fact that it has one in the first place is baffling to me. Alright, after the nice little intro that they used for the trailer for this release, uh, we got a nice menu here, so let's get to it. We got the first game, we got the second game, and then the third game. Now, there's boss rushes, there's a music player, there's a museum, which is nice and dandy. The game has different languages, and let's take a look at the museum real fast. Here we have advertisements. 
All right, the, you know, I appreciate this. This is really cool. You got some prints that they scanned into the game from the classic, you know, Japanese ads and uh, American ads. <laughs> oh, man. These are nice. I always appreciate when they throw these in these collections. Right, so there you go, you got the original box art, which unfortunately I don't have the box for the original game. Uh, I would like to complete that loose copy at some point, but it's not a priority for me right now. And that, then you got some Mega Drive box arts. So, okay, my misunderstanding was that the two games following the original game were on the Super Nintendo. Apparently, Sparkster was also released on Genesis. Yeah, obviously I'm, I'm confused here, <laughs> but that's perfectly fine. Uh, we got some design documents in this collection, which is always cute. You got a little bit of artwork here, and I always liked Sparkster. Even if I didn't play the game growing up, I did always see him from time to time in magazines and stuff like that, promotional artwork, and I'm like, you know what, I like this little guy. He's up my alley, I really do love bipedal mammal characters from platformers and uh, Sparkster's no exception definitely like the look simple cute and to the point and to me that's honestly the best thing you could ask for so each game has its own little set of artworks here and nice little collection and yeah I love this really cool for those of you who want the manuals for these games, uh, they're preserved here digitally and you know, you can't complain here. Music player, pretty much what you would expect from a music player. You got each game selectable and all the songs from each game. I like this, really nice, kick back, relax if you're a fan of the Rocket Knight Adventures and Sparkster soundtracks, this is the collection for you. All right, so let's try out the games. We got, you know, a new game, and then we have a boss rush mode. Uh, played a little bit of this on the Genesis. I already captured gameplay for it. You have overlay options. You have the rewind options, which is always cool. So let's check out the overlays. Here we have the screen size. You can do native two times. Native, let's see how small the native, oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, native resolution, very small. So you got stretched. I never like to stretch things out. Uh, screen size four by three which is, um, looks good. And then you got full. Let's see how full looks. I think full is the way to go. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary. Depends on your personal taste in this situation. And that's always good that they give you the options, especially if you want to play in handheld mode, which is a nice that you have all these different options. And you also got some CRT filters. Actually, you only got one, so that's, that's fine. Uh, borders, you have some borders here. Borders, I've never been too big a fan of. Uh, I always feel that they kind of get in the way of the gameplay, especially when they're like a screenshot. You know what I mean? Because it's just hard for my eyes to focus. In most cases, I usually turn them off. So, The game also has a rewind function, which is always appreciated in older school games like this. So yeah, just playing a little bit of this. I, this is exactly what I remember from the Genesis release that I just got not too long ago. So yeah, everything looks great here. Let's see if we can fly. There we go. I always loved his expression here when he's just hanging upside down from a branch. He just, he's just like, oh. Okay, so yeah, you got save states. That's always good. The graphics look a little fuzzy, in my opinion. Uh, not as sharp. I wonder if that's just a uh, emulation issue or that's just how the game always looked. Anyways, we're going to jump into this one. I want to check it out real fast because I've never played this version of the game. So it's definitely a different feeling game. Uh, than the first one. 
Uh, I feel like the traversal options, he's definitely got, you know, less buttons to hold down like the original game. But I don't know, the combat feels a little more sluggish, in my opinion. He felt a lot more snappier in the original game. Uh, but yeah, so far, this looks like the type of game that I'm definitely going to enjoy sinking my teeth into when I get the chance. Just Sparkster. And it just throws you right into the game. I gotta say, I like the look of this one better than the previous game. Uh, although I still think the first one looks the best, but there's a lot more color variety here on display in this one. And uh, he doesn't give that little shocked expression as he's hanging up the branch this time around, but he still looks pretty happy and adorable. So I gotta hand it to Sparkster. I like the way this one looks, and let me see how it feels. I think. Now from what I'm playing, this one definitely has more of that classic feel that the original Genesis game had. And uh, I'm really enjoying what I'm playing so far. Yeah, I'm sucking big time, but I gotta get used to the, the gameplay here and, well, I'm dead. Anyways, that's my unboxing for the Rocket Knight Adventures Respark Collection from Limited Run Games. Yeah, too bad it took a long time and had an update. It wasn't all complete on the cartridge, which is always unfortunate uh, with situations like this. But anyways, that's my unboxing. If you enjoyed this kind of unboxing and would like to see more, hit up the C's Arcade and check out my bros on the Super Retro Force. Anyways guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope to see you all soon, and I wish you all a good game and good night. Super Retro Force.